Oh, it's your boy Straight Up Reviews in the house. My voice may be raspy and roughed up on the whole household has been under the weather. And like I said, I've been kind of taking a YouTube break. Wanted to bring you guys this year-end type of video of what the stuff that I got for Christmas. Let's get into it. I got the Lego Old School Batmobile. I've been looking at this thing for about two months. And I was hoping that Santa Claus bring it to me. Real, raw, and done cut. I'm about to put it together. Maybe not today. I'm probably going to put it together, you know, sometimes next year when I, you know, um, get the upworkings of my man cave here. And this is what Santa Glam, you know, calls, you know, more like a stocking stuffer, but, you know, she uses bags as well. So, uh, as you guys already know, I got me a cup head right there. Snuggly, snuggly beanie right here. We're all nut cut. Let me see what we got going on here. We got some mac and cheese candy canes. Yes, I've been on a diet, but hey, I still eat my candies in moderation. Um, now, you guys already know my favorite candy of all time with the gummy flavorings is Havaro. Now, I have never, never seen these type of flavorings around my way because for someone said that she, I was like, oh my gosh, where do you get these? You can't buy these at Five Below. You can't buy these at Walmart or nothing like that. And, you know, we've been having a world market down the street for like, you know, a long, long time. And I forgot they sell all types of, you know, different types of candies from, you know, around the world. And I said, oh my gosh, she just started something because, like I said, we got Pinky and Lily right here. Then we got, um, let me see, we got the color Radu right there. It's a bunch of, you know, different type of, you know, Habaro candies put into one. And it, it just reminds me of all the stuff that I used to eat in Germany as well. And then we got these ones right here called um, Bunte, I don't even know. These look very fruity and juicy, but I can't wait to actually try those real raw and up. I got my Blastoid right there. As you guys already know, Pokemon, he's one of my favorite too as well. And like I said, I told you guys in the last couple of videos, I'm a, you know, up and coming so-so Pokemon, you know, fan because I'm like way, way back. So I enjoy what I, you know, up until now, of, you know, of what I'll be, you know, playing around with, with these little Pokemon. So Blastoid, little fat little tortoise, looks like my Duke tortoise. He over there looking, <laughs> look, my tortoise over there looking like, man, if you don't put him down. Finally, finally got my NECA figure, um, cloth figure from NECA right there. And um, I was really, really wanting this. And I had to add this on my Christmas list. And it's going to go right there on my shelf later on, right along with my other Michael Myers figures. Can't wait for the movie to come along, you know, next year. Um, I think it's called Halloween Kills, I believe. I got this Nintendo Super Mario Brothers. Uh, let me see. This is a question, question mark block. Now, it lights up, you know, I don't want to take it out the box, maybe I'll take it out the box on another video, and we was thinking, um, maybe it looks better if you just hang it up, maybe when I get the man cave, we'll put some kind of thing on it, and just have it just hanging there, and I could just click it one time, and just, you know, let it, you know, light up throughout the day, but, hey, you know, you never know, I may put it on, you know, the, uh, the side of my bed one day, just click it, just want, just want to mess with it, just light it up, but uh, this thing says it um, actually plays music, it includes official game sounds, back in the day, because I'm an old school, you know, 80s baby, we got Ren and Stimpy, you know what I'm saying, I used to watch Ren and Stimpy all the day, all day on Nickelodeon, right along with my Rugrats, you know what I'm saying, uh, you knew, you knew school, uh, moderate kids don't know nothing about no Rugrats and Ren and Stimpy, and like I said, this is pretty, pretty cool, <laughs> Oh my gosh, just look at this big old blue nose. You know, let me blow it off for some right here. And then inside, it's got this brain right there. Right there, Ren. Stimpy. Thing is really, really cool. And I may, I don't know, I, I, I may use it. Put some Kool-Aid in it. But, you know, we would, we, you know, we decided it's more like a decoration. So, if you see right there, it can like actually, you know, sit on the shelf. So, finally got the old school Power Rangers game. As you guys already know, um, this is released by Limited Run Games. And I was waiting for the physical. And it finally, finally came out. Finally got released in Best Buy. And there's, you know, there's good reviews. And there's so-so reviews. But I look at it as that, as that I like to enjoy old school type of fighting games. And I can't wait to play it. So, you guys already know, I'm going to pick the White Ranger, the Green Ranger, the Black Ranger, the Pink Ranger can sit down somewhere, and the Yellow Ranger can sit down somewhere. My Mike Tyson figure right here. Yep, yep, yep. Star Collectibles, right character. And um, I think this is like my fifth Star Collectible characters as well. And these things is pretty much expensive. And I didn't think this Mike Tyson was going to be very, very little. But you got to understand is that Mike Tyson is a little dude in real life. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is the final, final round, Mike Tyson. And there's another one, too, that um, Star Collectibles figure. I think this one, his other one has the belt as well. As you already know, 
I've been bugging uh, Santa Glam about, you know, wanting to make me some sushi. As a matter of fact, I may want to make me some damn sushi today because I love me some sushi and I'm tired of going to the store buying damn sushi that costs a little damn tray for $8. So I figured if I go buy all my ingredients in one whole month, I can make my own sushi. I'm going to make my own sushi. I'm going to make sushi that nobody has ever even made before. You know what I'm saying? Some chitlin sushis. You know what I'm saying? Some candy cane sushis. You never, never know. Okay? I got Conan right there for Christmas. Right there. x has been wanting to play that game. So, I really, really been waiting for the price to drop. But, hey, I got it right there for Christmas. I got the Ninja Turtles right here. Yeah. Yep, yep, y'all. This is the old school Ninja Turtles from back in the day when they didn't even have their colors. You know what I'm saying? They all was red, but you can tell their names by their weapons, real on the cut. And I, you know, was looking at this at Walmart one day, and I, you know, I think Miss Gamer Glam see me pick it up, and I wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna come back and get it. And what do you know? I opened it on Christmas and got it right there under the tree. I was bugging that I wanted my own throw blanket. And what's cool about it is a Pokemon blanket, throw blanket, and it's got the characters on the front of it. Look, I'm going to show you guys. It's a throw blanket because sometimes when I get hot laying down, I just want to just lay butt naked under a throw blanket. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you guys, lay butt naked under a throw blanket and it's up against your skin just feeling all good. And it actually makes you fall asleep really, really quick too. So <laughs> it do. So yeah, so it's really, really nice. So I may show you guys one day when it's wrapped around me all snugly up as well oh, we're all uncut huh i ain't show nobody a butt naked shoot they, 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 they y'all want to see me butt naked y'all better cash at me fans only you guys already know that i love my different type of shirts that i love to wear with different type of designs on it so let me see oh my gosh i got reptar right there oh yeah this shirt is pretty pretty nice and I'm gonna wear it. You guys already know. You guys gonna see me probably wear it in my videos. Wear it around town if you guys ever see me. Say what's up. And don't be just trying to follow me around. You know what I'm saying? Because I had some people on YouTube, you know, some people from see me on YouTube, they'll say, hey man, what's up? And then all of a sudden I go take a shit and they pop up right there and I go get something to eat and I look around, they right there and then I gotta fucking just leave. Look at this little gin guard right there with the little heart on it. Don't he look so adorable? Look at him. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm going to wear that right there real raw and uncut. Yes, indeed, y'all. And like I said, when you wear your clothes, uh, just just wear your stuff just to have fun. You know what I'm saying? You know, real raw and uncut. That's that, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go out here smelling all and looking all crumbly and bumbly and all sorts of great crap out here. So yeah, and I got this Ninja Turtle shirt. You guys already know I love Ninja Turtles. This is a Raphael right there, real raw and uncut comic book style that is nice yep yep y'all my favorite two ninja turtles is Raphael and michelangelo this right here you guys already know this is my first ever mega man shirt that i ever got right there and i'm loving how it's all blended in with this asphalt shirt look at that mega man yeah baby mega man got me through some times and mega man got my ass in trouble like I got me a game over light. Yeah. So anyways, I may find some room and actually post it up in the back. Got my Xbox One. Yes. Elite Series 2 controller. It's about to go down on Call of Duty tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you guys, this controller may cost a lot, a lot of money. But these uh, special Controllers right there when you program and play some Call of Duty or any type of game you playing Day is very very worth it. And I know a lot of you guys be saying it's just a controller. No, it's not I'm Telling you guys. So yeah, so uh the series 2 is supposed to be built better than the series 1 controller Because like I said, I took so care of my first controller and I just you know was using it but I didn't use it that much I only use it when I played a little bit of gaming but I noticed that it just started just just withering away like real slow and I was like what the hell is going on with my controller so hopefully uh, this one's a lot better you know from the first one because they said the rubber grips are all the way around and um, it says it comes with a, um, a uh, charging dock a wireless charging dock okay Woo yes 
my first ever mini arcade stick controller for the Nintendo Switch. Play Street Fighter and actually play Mortal Kombat games as well. And I really didn't see nobody, you know, um, show this on uh, YouTube. I, I, and I don't know why. Um, so I had to pick it up, and I'm gonna do an unboxing of this later on. You know, probably today if I get around to it. But it's definitely gonna, be, you know, be done this weekend. So. Make sure you guys go pick up one of these right there. Uh, and oh yeah, they also have this in blue. They have the Chung Lee one. The Street Fighter back at you again. Got Saget right there because he's one of my favorite, you know, Street Fighter characters as well. Even though Ryu whooped his ass, but you know that's why he got the big scar, you know, across his chest. You know, saying uh, Knucklehead uh, Saget still acting like he big and hard. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't think this dude was like really, really huge of a character. And I think this dude cost what like seventy nine dollars. I was like, why does he cost $79? Because he's starting collectible figures. Just, oh, this thing is huge. Look at him. Okay, look. We got another another Nintendo light. Look at that. It glows. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. This right here, I could just wake up in the middle of the night and be like, hold on. Let me pop that. You know what I'm saying? Get my Nintendo on. Just, yeah. No stress reliever ball. So your kids get on your nerves. Take your ass to bed. What? What? Turn it off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, okay, and I got me some new shoes right here. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, you guys already know I love van shoes, and <coughs> I had to give me these new pair of slip ons, you know, because I love slip on shoes. Sometimes I don't feel like putting on my shoe string shoes, and you just want to just slip them on. Look at that. I'm loving that color. I used to have a, like a darker blue color, but this one is really, really cool as well. Let me see. I think these are slip ons too. Yep, these are slip-ons, and these are the square color right there, blue. You guys already know my favorite color is blue, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday I called them polka dots, and Miss Glam, Miss Glam was like, Great, those ain't polka dots! <laughs> but yeah, these are really, really nice as well. Um, I, wa I, I really want to try some Pumba shoes. I, I don't have a pair of Pumbas. I think that's what you call them, because I've been looking at them kind of, you know, brand, and them shoes is probably looking pretty, pretty cool as well. But yeah, that's what I got for Christmas, y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. Real Raw and Uncut. Yeah.